the sister had no to what she paid for a lot. She put the lime in the coconut, she drank a bowl up. She put the lime in the coconut, she drank a bowl up. Put the lime in the coconut, she drank a bowl up. Put the lime in the coconut, she called the doctor, woke him up and said, Doctor, is there nothing I could take? I said, Doctor, to relieve this belly, it does the doctor. Is there nothing I could take? Welcome to Moments with Mimi, and today we're going to talk about looking at the big picture. That's right, we're going to look at the big picture. Step back, just sit back, you know, grab your soda, coffee, tea, whatever. I mean, come on. We've all imprisoned ourselves in our own little prisons. An objective man says, you should watch the regular news <laughs> for your information on the virus. <laughs> and we all know that that's just somebody's opinion talking. You know, I don't need to listen to their opinions. No, thank you. And I really don't care about the virus, you know. If you step back and look at it, look at a map of that virus. All right. I'm not the only one doing it. I'm not the only one saying there's only unity, harmony, and love in my home. And that ripples out across the world. And when you know these laws, it's God, you know God is the virus and he's just, it's Halloween. He dressed up like a virus. Okay? And some of them are going, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and some of them are going, oh, that's the cutest costume ever. You cute little thing. And he just moves on down to the next house. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Take our tea. You know? <laughs> Give the love. Give the love. Objective man is telling you to distance yourself from others physically. This is God in use and go in your ark. Go in your ark. Who's listening? Who's listening? Because here's the flood. It's time to go in your ark. And it's going to come in your house in some way. Because it's God asking you. Do you still believe this? What do you believe right now? Because I made this virus. You know what? And we're rocking. And we're going to make sure you get everything you want. What do you want? You have faith or doubt? Faith or doubt? <laughs> okay? It's up to you whether you listen to the news or not. It's how you look at it that, that matters. You need to recognize that it's an opinion and it's all a story. And if you listen carefully, you will hear that. Well, we think, we believe, we're not sure, but. Well, if we get to this and if we get to that, then we don't have enough. <laughs> if, when, then, hen. You know, it's Chicken Little running around with his head chopped off, spewing blood everywhere. <laughs> okay. No. Cut it out. No one thinks like that. So when you begin to love yourself, and many have, and you begin to lovingly see the world, and many do, then this is when the conflict arises, because imagination is not here to save the world. It's here to save you, the one. That's everyone. Okay? And you're saving God himself, who trapped himself inside you. So he could carry you He's, and be pregnant. This man is pregnant, okay, with this baby. And this baby has been born. And now it's time to raise the baby. What kind of thoughts or beliefs are you going to entertain? And it begins in your home. So, if you're not distracted by this virus, 
it's going to rear its ugly head in your home. You were worried about, you know, third party. You got in a mood, you know, weren't feeling that great, and you just let that mood ride. No, okay? It's not a feel-good mood. You know, a, a mood of love, and, and you're happy to be alive. Take it there. You know, because that, that's what you need to do if you get in one of those moods. No, 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 no. I'm just glad to be alive. Life is sweet. It's all good. Somehow, all this is bringing me my good. I know it is. You know, and, and move into your story or go find something to do. You're like a dog on the human side. So when you're teaching a dog uh, to pay attention to you and to not look at that cat, not pay attention to others, just you, you know, you, you turn him around and you say, no, go this way. And if he starts paying attention to somebody, no, nah, and then you turn him right back around, go back the other way. It's the same thing. It's a strong mental diet. That's what Neville calls it. And I call it having a strong mental fortitude. And it's just like, you know, sudden death. The little boy is sitting there while all this mayhem and people are going crazy. And his daddy comes up to him because he had told him, you stay here no matter what goes on, no matter what happens, you stay here. I will come and get you. And he does and he comes, but all the mayhem's happened. The stadium's empty. The boy was all by himself, sitting in that chair while everybody went nutto. And he sees his dad and he says, I, I stayed here. I stayed right here. I did just like you said, Daddy. I stayed right here. And his, you know, Jean-Claude Van Damme hugs him. I love Jean-Claude Van Damme. For that one scene in that one movie and uh, it's like that you have to stay in your ark you need to stay in the sanctuary okay and no it's all god all that mayhem all that caca you know no no i don't have to stay in my home I can go to the grocery store. You know, there's people out there saying, yeah, right, there is no virus. I don't believe it. And they're right. There is no virus. It's God doing it. There is no virus. It's God. God's talking. And he's telling everyone who sees life subjectively or is trying to see life subjectively, and if you're not paying attention to the virus enough, he's going to bring, you know, family members or uh, neighbors or those kinds of things to you. And they're going to be all worried and you're going to raise them up, move them on. You know, or you're going to be quiet and then go within and revise and change what they said. And you're going to sh show the God within you that you trust him. That you're the prodigal son. I'm your humble servant, Pops. I serve you and they serve me. And we all serve you in the end. Because I serve you. And they're my thoughts and beliefs. They serve you too. They serve me. And this is what Dad's trying to find out. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, do you trust... Do you trust yourself? Do you trust your human imagination? Do you? Do you trust it? Do you trust God in you? Okay, turn away. You turn away. Okay, no. No. Okay, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. I gotta stay inside. Or, you know, I'll get a thousand dollar fine. All right, fine, but no, not really, because if somebody's dying outside and there's a crowd of 20 people and I can save them, I'm going to go freaking save them. And you can find me a $1,000. I don't give a ding. It doesn't matter. 
Okay. You treat them like you want to be treated. You don't want it thrown in their face that I could uh, look at me. I could do this. Come on, let's get a crowd of 20 and go down the street. You know? No, that's just being an ass. No, it's, no, you, you're not going to stop me if, I'm not going to, I don't care. Okay? I don't care. If I get it, I get it. Healthcare professionals, you chose to be healthcare professionals. I'm not bowing to you. Okay? I'm sorry you have a problem, but it's your problem. You're the one who thinks that. Okay? We don't even have 10 people in the hospital here. There is no virus. Okay? If you look at New York, there's a bunch there. What have they been thinking? What have they been doing? Look at their leaders, what they say, what they do. And do it like you're watching a show. And you'll see the adjectives, the verbs, the descriptions that they place upon another. Then go see what the other said. And now you'll know. Who's maligning who? Be King Solomon. Err on the side of love. Right? So this one's spewing hate, fear, and doubt. This one's spewing uplifting. It would be great if, you know, da 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 da. I'm erring on this side. Okay? Now, you do what you gotta do. You're the one representing you. You're the thought or belief. You know, that's up to you. But uh, I'm erring on the side of love. And I know everyone thinks they're doing good. Okay? And I know he's afraid and fearful. And he has no reason to be. You know, the governors of New York and California, you know, rise up. They are rising up right now. And they're ready. And they have courage. And they're spreading the good word. You know, it's going to get better. We're going to make it through this. And they're going to stop screaming. We don't have enough. We don't have enough. We don't have enough. You know, we don't have enough for your fear and we never will. Okay, that's how objective man works. No, there's plenty for all. No, I did not hear that. There's plenty for all. God is the virus. And if you believe in the virus, then there's plenty for all. I'm not listening to this. I'm erring on the side of blood. No. No, there is no virus. God is the virus. You're the one who has to choose. Your response is you. Are you going to have faith? Believing the unseen will be seen? Because it's not a religion. It's believing the unseen will be seen. That's what the Bible says. Okay? And doubt. You know? Well, let me tell you what doubt looks like. Oh, but if I touch that, I could that, and it could go through this cloud, and I could be this, and oh my God, it's everywhere. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know? Trust me, I've heard it. <laughs> I've heard it firsthand. <laughs> And, you know, I looked at my husband and said, you know, you're just going to kill yourself over stressing over this thing. Virus is going to disappear and I'm going to have a dead body to go deal with. <laughs> because you, you just scared yourself to death. <laughs> they call it stressing yourself to death today. You're scaring yourself to death. That's what you're doing. <laughs> and if that's how you want to exit the stage, you know, don't let me stop you. No one goes before their time. And if you're supposed to stay, then you just look like the fool. And if you're supposed to go, then you go. You know? And the one who calls the one who's erring on the side, who, who's coming from a love, the one who tells that, that that one is not coming from love, you know, that that's how they see them, you know, no. 
No, I don't accept that. You know, I don't accept that. Everybody knows that everybody is doing good and it's not about the ego. I don't care which side they're on. Okay? It's about doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do. And if those others persist in not doing that, oh, okay. <laughs> don't let me stop you from cutting your nose to spite your face. I don't care. If you don't care, why should I care? You know? It's really that simple. It's about response. And you can take your time to respond. And you should. And really think about it because it's always a message from God. And 99% of the time it's, do you believe this? And it's right before you're going to get your good, right? I'm telling you. <laughs> it's, okay, here's that belief. Do you still believe it? You know? And the belief is yours. For me, it, it was about illness because I haven't believed, you know, that anybody could really heal me ever. That my body was always great. You know, the few times I did get sick, I, I knew I was doing it to myself. You know, so that's not something that I ever really saw. I did see it objectively. You know, I knew, I thought, yeah, I can get a strep throat, you know. But I would stress myself to get it. <laughs> but I had to, I believed I had to get medicine for it. You know, but I don't believe that anymore. Now I know it's it's God. It's just a germ. It's just a virus. It's God. Okay, it's neither good nor bad. It's love. It's pure de love. Divine love. So it's, it's that kind of thing. So if you've been, you know, imagining uh, another being a different way or... Uh, something came up and you know maybe now you realize I need to revise something do a suckering of the vine and now you know I think I need to go here and take that out and that and that's God telling you okay trust yourself that very first thing that comes into your mind you need to go revise that that you know you sit there and think about it and then you go do a mundane task or, you know, you lay down right before bed and just go to silence or whatever. And it'll come to you. And that's where you need to go do what it is you need to go do. Sometimes it'll come to you while you're talking to somebody. Sometimes it'll come to you while you're sipping your tea. You know, who knows? You never know. So it's, um, in, when it's, when you're in your own home and you're bringing peace to it and you're calling on unity, harmony, and love, the one and all, that ripples out across the world and it manifests itself as, you know, protests and riots in Hong Kong, as, you know, ugly feelings towards the people and the people feeling ugly towards the government in China. And then that explodes into this virus. And then it starts moving its way around the world. Do you believe this? Do you believe that? Do you believe this? Do you believe... That's how it jumps. It's, it's airborne! You know? That's how it manifests. Okay? There's only one. There's only unity, harmony, and love. And there's only one. So it's headed out across the world. Okay? It's headed out across the world. Okay? We're not babies in the womb anymore. To take on a plague and do, you know, it's a plague. No. We are children. And it's time to know. 
you are the son of God and man. You are the child of God and man. And it's time for you to stand up and say, you know, I love everyone and everything. And I love you. I love you. And get in that mirror and say it. And don't be afraid about what ripples out into the outside world. Because it's manifesting. It's bringing you your good. And it will ripple out. Yes, it will ripple out across the world. And that's because we're all aware of the entire world now. That's just the way it is. Okay? It's the way it is. So when you look at, and when you sit back, look at the big picture, you're in the movie theater, you know, and you see the map, you can see where the thoughts and beliefs that gather together that believed those things. That's where the hot spots are. Okay, and all that is being washed away. This is a flood. Get in your ark. You're, you've been told, get in your ark. Get in your ark. Get in your mind. Okay, this is the time. Go to your imagination. Pops is saying, hey. Who of you are hanging with, out with my babe? And who of you are staring in the mirror? You know, it's the zombie apocalypse. Time for the zombies to change or go. And that's what's going to happen. If you believe, you know, there isn't unity, harmony, and love, then you're going to change or go. Everyone is going to work in unity, harmony, and love. And we will all err on the side of love. Okay? Everyone thinks they're doing good. And everyone loves love. And everyone will err on the side of love. And this virus won't touch them. Because it is love. It's God. God is love. So, you can see... That in places like China, where they were already having troubles, and you can see who's, where those beliefs that, you know, they malign the people, the people malign the government, whatever, you know, that, that starts rolling out there. And they either turn within and start loving on one another and trying to help each other, which, you know, the initial reaction here in America, the initial response was, okay, let's get in our art, close the borders. Get, okay, done. Okay, now we all need to really get in our arts. Got it? Good. No, you don't get it. We're, go home. Everybody go home, get in your art. Okay. We're all in our art. Okay, come on. This is the land of imagination. It's time to band together. To band together, you band of brothers. Come on. Come on. There's only unity, harmony, and love. Make that way in your world. I make it in my world. I already have. You know, for the most part. Everybody is doing this. The conflict goes away. It's washed away. In an ocean of divine love, people start changing. And it's already begun. But objective man's going to scream a little louder because that's the adversary. And that is what you're hearing. The objective side is focus on the national news. And they're the worst. Okay? As far as objective man goes. And being very emotional. And they know their psychology too, but they see it objectively. And so they're trying to manipulate. They're trying to get you to bow to them. They want you to be afraid in your home and only watching them. That's, that's what they want. And when someone like President Trump 
expresses a wish, you know, wouldn't it be great? I would love it. It would be a beautiful thing if the churches were full this Easter. I just really would like that. But we'll see. We'll see. It, it's up to the medical staff here. And they twist it. Okay, they, they're seeing life objectively. Okay, and when you see that, you just, no, I know they're better than that. I'm not listening to that. I'm erring on the side of love. Okay. He's talking lovely. All right. That is attack, divide, and conquer. No, no objective man. You're not going to divide me and conquer me. I'm pulling us all together. Right here. Right here in my heart. In unity, harmony, and love. I'm not going to stop. You can't stop me. You can't stop me from thinking that. <laughs> and that's what you need to be saying to yourself. No. No. You know what? There is no virus. It's time for us to end this. You know. And it's time for you to be in your ark until the dove comes. Which is, you know what? The virus disappeared overnight. I don't know what happened to it. All the all the counts went down and dramatically. And they're still going down. Don't know what's going on with that. But isn't it wonderful? An objective man has no choice but to say, yes, it's wonderful. And he thinks he was doing good. You know? And they're trying to say he's being prideful and saying our administration did this and this and this. And he's not. He, he's the president. His staff told him we need to do this. He's the he's the watcher. He's the guy going on. This is the best administration ever. I have the best people around me. And you know what? If they're not being the best, they got to get. It. We all know that Donald does that the best. <laughs> You're fired. And that's the point. He's doing it from love. He sees great things for everyone. Okay, he's erring on the side of love. And then others have refused to change. They're going to change. They're going to change. They're going to get the virus and turn within. They're going to get the virus and not change. I don't know. But they're going to change somehow or they're going to go. They're going to fall by the wayside. So it's that strong mental diet. It's a strong mental diet because when you fix it on the inside, in you, you fix it in your home. And now it begins to ripple out into your world. So you believe there's only unity, harmony, and love in your home and in your world. And you can't help but be aware of the entire world. You're supposed to. Okay? It's time to be the good steward, the good shepherd. You know? And know that it's all perfect. And it's all kind. And it's all beautiful, beautiful life. And isn't it wonderful? So... It's time to be King Solomon. It's time to see the big picture. Really look at it. See who's erring on the side of love. And then stay in your ark. Know it's all about love. Don't judge. You know, they can believe whatever they want. You still love them. But we're not going to, I'm not listening to that belief. This is the belief, I believe. Love. This person's acting out of love. This one is not. That's okay. I love you. You you go go around the corner because you're not needed here. Okay? <laughs> you come with me. Come on. Let's band. This is how it works. Each person individually begins this chain reaction. In science terms, you're having a nuclear explosion. And it's in a nuclear explosion of love. Okay? You can't stop it. 
you have more millions of people who follow the law of attraction as it's taught today. And they see life objectively, but they still try. Okay? They still try. And then you have people who follow uh, Dr. Murphy or uh, Neville Goddard, and they've gone a little deeper. And, and there's others. These are not the only two. Uh, Lanin's another one. There's just, there's a lot of them. But uh, they're practicing too at a, a deeper level. And then in the Gospel of Thomas, it states, you know, one in a thousand, two in ten. And this means uh, ones who fully comprehend it all the way and are pulling the others up to their level. And in the times like we are now, which is you know, the end of an age, then you raise others up. Come on, come on. You're a beautiful human being, and it's wonderful. You use your power of love judiciously, righteously. In the Bible, the word righteous is a translation. And what it actually means is with, with passionate love. With love. With passion and love. That is what the word righteousness the, is the Greek translation for the ancient Hebrew word. And the ancient Hebrew word is a mix of Assyrian and Hebrew, and it means passionate love. Okay? It's love. Every time you read righteousness in the Bible, you change it to love, and you will understand it better. So I hope this helps. You know, this is inspired action, because I had some stuff happen to me this week, and... My husband getting all wonky and you know I revised it and things are great um, but you know some really wacko things coming into some of the students lives that were not virus related but had long been put to bed or had been attempted to be put in bed and had reared its ugly head in you know, an even more awful way than before. And really it's about, you know, uh, God's coming to you at this time. Okay, you don't believe the virus? Got it. Okay, but you believe this. This is worldwide. But you believed this. Do you still believe this? Do you still believe in third parties? Do you still believe in others, do you still believe your son can go wonka wacko? Do you still believe that your son is happy and healthy and prosperous and having a great life? And so are you. Do you believe that your special person has come and now you're just being like peas and carrots? You know, and what do you believe is the question. That God's asking you. Do you believe in me? You ate the pill. Do you believe in me? Do you believe there's only one? Do you trust me? I love you. What do you want? Hmm? So it's a good time to know about revision. And you can go revise. And it's a good time to remember one man's trash is another man's treasure. It's all relative. It's a good time to remember that yes, you made that thought and belief. But they're their own thought and belief. And they have the privilege of choosing, of having the free will to choose. Faith or doubt. What's it going to be? You're going to believe the zombies? You're going to believe in your human imagination and in God, consciousness, and your subconscious, you know, consciousness and divine love. What are you going to believe? What are you going to grow? 
because divine love manifests itself as the life principle in your subconscious that's going to make it grow and everything that ever was or ever will be is inside there it'll do it <laughs> it's God in you there's only one mind made of two parts and then there's you the human imagination God gives you the thoughts what you do with them that's up to you you babbling cute baby you so you might want to check out the videos on emotions because you accept your emotions they're great they're rocket launchers you just make sure the words you use when you're in those emotional states are the words that are helping you it doesn't matter if you're angry or crying or whatever while you're saying no I don't believe that that's not what freaking happened this is what happened you know and that is just as beautiful of a rocket as thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay how do you do it naturally because that's the way you need to do it so I hope this helps blessings to you and thank you thank you for being you <laughs> Say, Doctor, is there nothing I could take? I say, Doctor, to relieve this belly, yeah, that's the Doctor, is there nothing I could take? I say, Doctor, to relieve this belly, yeah, I say, Now let me get this straight. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drink a bowl up. You put the lime in the coconut, you call the doctor. Woke him up, said, Doctor, is there nothing I could take? I said, Doctor.